The Plum 360 has options for more advanced programming when medications require more involved delivery. This video will explain how to utilize the bolus feature, how to program a loading dose, and how to program a multi-step dose delivery for an infusion. During administration of some medications, you may find situations where the patient is requiring a bolus of the fluid or medication that is already being delivered. With medications where this is appropriate, the Plum 360 will have a bolus option available. This can be delivered through medications attached to either the A or B line as long as certain criteria are met. Bolus delivery needs to be enabled for that medication within the drug library. There has to be enough medication left in the bag to deliver the entire bolus. The medication needs to be currently running, and if the medication is running through the B line, it must be programmed in the piggyback mode, not as a concurrent mode. While the medication is actively infusing, push the soft key for the line program that you wish to bolus. For this example, we will be bolusing IV fluid from the A line. You'll see a bolus option on the soft key menu. If we had stopped the infusion before going to the A line screen, we would not see the option for bolus, so make sure that the A line is currently pumping when you wish to do your bolus. When we push the bolus key, we are taken to a bolus programming screen. You need to enter two out of the four fields to program a bolus either the dose or volume to be infused, and either the duration or rate. When you fill in two of the required fields, the other two will autofill to complete your program. For this example, we will enter a dose of 20 milliliters at a rate of 999 milliliters per hour. You'll notice the duration autofilled for one minute and the volume to be infused with 20 milliliters. We now have the option to initiate a callback alarm. If you turn on this feature, when the bolus is complete, the pump will alarm with a slow three beats to notify the provider that the bolus is complete. When we initiate the bolus, the infusion screen will show bolus next to the infusing line. It also shows us the bolus program. We can see that we have 20 milliliters total bolus, and our rate is currently running at 999 milliliters per hour. Once the bolus volume has been delivered, the pump will change back to the original programming and continue pumping. You'll also hear the audible callback alarm notifying you of the completion of the bolus. To turn off this alarm, you must push the silence button at the top of the pump. When you are initially programming an infusion, you will have the option to program with a loading dose. Loading dose allows you to program two different rates that will infuse for a designated volume or time. Once the first line of programming is completed, it will change to the programmed rate entered into the second line. This can be used when a medication has two separate rates attributed to its infusion, or if you need to program an initial loading dose or bolus dose. This is very similar to the bolus programming, except that it is entered before you begin infusing a medication, whereas the bolus programming is done during an active infusion. For this example, we will program amiodarone. Amiodarone is administered in two different doses over the course of 24 hours. The initial dose is one milligram per minute for six hours. So in line one, we will enter one milligram per minute for dose and six hours in the duration field. The other fields will autofill to complete the program. After the first six hours, the medication is decreased to half a milligram per minute for the next 18 hours. So we will enter 0.5 milligrams per minute and 18 hours to autofill the remaining fields. We again have the option of a callback alarm. Once the infusion is started, the infusion screen gives us additional information. It tells us the current program, but also shows that this is still the loading dose phase of a two-step program and that we have an active callback alarm programmed as well. After six hours, the rate will automatically change to 0.5 milligrams per minute, and our callback alarm will sound. When initially programming the pump, you also have the option of a multi-step dose. This is very similar to the loading dose, except that instead of only being able to set two separate rates, you now have the option to set up to 10 different programs. For this example, we will show a program for a heavily tapered IV fluid infusion. Starting with 100 milliliters per hour for a duration of 100 milliliters, we will decrease with each step for an additional 100 milliliters delivered. Once you have three steps programmed, you will have the option to scroll down to the next page, showing you steps four through 10. You can continue to fill in as many programs as you need. You do not need to program for all 10 steps. When you confirm your program, you will need to confirm steps one through three and steps four through 10 separately before it will begin transfusion. The pump will now run the program and change the rates every time it reaches our dose limit of 100 milliliters at each step. On our infusion screen, you can see it displays what step of the program you are on and how many total steps were programmed. These advanced programming options will not be something you utilize for most infusions. 
but when a medication has a more rigid administration regimen, or if you find yourself needing to bolus from a medication bag, knowing how to properly use your Plum 360 can make life a lot easier.